In this video, we'll share the top 15 things to do in Seville. At number one, we have the Real Alcazar. This UNESCO-listed palace complex is a marvel of Mudéjar architecture, developed in the 14th century. The palace is still in use by the Spanish royal family with their chambers and staterooms on the upper level. As you explore, you'll move from one beautiful courtyard to another, each offering a unique and breathtaking view. At number two, we have the Seville Cathedral. This colossal structure is the largest cathedral in the world by volume, housing 80 different chapels and numerous relics and historical curios. The cathedral stands on the site of a former mosque, hints of which can be seen in the Court of the Orange Trees and other architectural details. At number three, we have La Giralda. This iconic bell tower adjacent to the Seville Cathedral was originally a minaret with Moorish origins. Unique in its design, the tower has 34 ramps leading to the top, allowing the muezzin to ride his horse up for the call to prayer. At number four, we have the Plaza de España. Built for the Ibero American Exposition in 1929, this semicircular plaza is edged by a canal and features a large curved palace. The palace is adorned with busts of important national figures and installations representing every province in Spain, each depicted with traditional civilian azulejos, painted tiles. At number five, we have Maria Luisa Park. This expansive green space in central Seville offers a delightful surprise at every turn, from ornamental ponds and pavilions to sculptures and tiled fountains. The park is also a botanical garden, hosting unusual plant species from around the world. At number six, we have Triana. This vibrant neighborhood on the left bank of the Guadalquivir River is known for its contributions to civilian culture, including painted ceramics and flamenco. Triana boasts a mix of Moorish revival and Baroque architecture, providing a visually stunning experience for visitors. At number seven, we have the right bank of the Guadalquivir. Starting at the Isabel Bridge, enjoy a scenic riverside walk towards the University of Seville, taking in views of the city and the bustling activity of locals enjoying the outdoors. At number eight, we have tablaos and flamenco shows. Seville offers flamenco shows across the city every evening. A tablao provides a great viewing experience complete with live musicians and dining options, immersing you in the vibrant and passionate world of flamenco. At number nine, we have the Archaeological Museum. This museum houses significant artifacts from archaeological sites around Seville province, including exciting finds from the Bronze Age, offering visitors a glimpse into the region's rich history. At number 10, we have the Museum of Arts and Traditions. This museum showcases Seville's traditional industries, households, and customs through displays of everyday items and workshops related to the city's historic trades. At number 11, we have the Museum of Fine Arts. Here, you can explore works from the Sevillian school of the 17th and 18th centuries, a period of great wealth and cultural development in the city. At number 12, we have the Feria de Abril. This five-day event in Los Remedios offers a vibrant and colorful celebration of civilian culture, with traditional costumes, dancing, and fairground attractions. At number 13, we have Semana Santa. The Holy Week processions in Seville are among the most famous in Spain, with penitents marching through the streets carrying decorative floats depicting passion scenes and weeping virgins. At number 14, we have Italica. Just a short bus ride from the city, Italica is the birthplace of Roman emperors Trajan and Hadrian. The site features a massive amphitheater and the foundations of ancient mansions and temples, with well-preserved mosaics still visible. At number 15, we have Tapas. Seville is the home of Tapas, and the city offers a wide variety of bars serving these delicious small dishes. Each bar often has its own specialty, making an evening of Tapas crawling an exciting culinary adventure. So that sums up my top 15 things to do in Seville. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like on the video, and if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Until next time, have a great day.